Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Breaking news. We begin tonight with the showdown between the NDP government and Surrey over policing. The province issued a deadline for the city to respond to its latest offer, one that included an extra $100 million. Late today, the city said no thank you. CTV's Rob Buffum is live in Victoria with more on this drama that's been dragging on for 18 months now. Rob? Jung, just when it seemed like there might be a final chapter the, to the seemingly never-ending story, the saga continues with Mayor Locke and Council rejecting the province's offer this afternoon. That offer of $100 million was on top of the $150 million already offered by the province last year to help with the transition costs. The province says the city of Surrey approached it in January asking to negotiate for more help and the province offered an additional $20 million a year between 2029 and 2034 to cover extra expenses caused by the transition, bringing the total to $250 million. The province also offered to reinstate the police board. Surrey's mayor has said the transition would actually cost half a billion dollars more and would pose a major tax burden for Surrey residents. Solicitor General Mike Farnworth had given Locke and Surrey Council until 4 p.m. today to accept the latest offer, saying it was time to fish or cut bait. Farnworth says Locke sent him a letter last week saying she and Council were in agreement with the offer in principle, but this afternoon they rejected it. He says that was the final offer. Disappointed, absolutely. And I think uh, that the, the people of Surrey will be disappointed because the people of Surrey want an end to this. The transition will continue. Uh, the transition continues regardless of the, uh, the judicial review that is underway. And what we intend to do is that $150 million will now go directly to ensuring the safe transition to the Surrey Police Service. Any additional costs that end up getting passed on to the people of Surrey are the result of the failure of the mayor and council. So, Rob, what is the timeline then for this transition? Well, Farnworth said today he would announce details of that transition timing next week. As for the judicial review, the date for that is set is April 29th for five days. That's basically the city of Surrey has brought a court action hoping to overturn the government's order that they transition to policing from the RCMP. So a year and a half into this debacle, both sides continue to stare down this big issue, neither side blinking as they stare down a provincial election just six months away on an issue with big tax implications in voter-rich Surrey. Mi Jung. Okay, thank you, Rob. Now to Surrey and CTV Sinjin Alexander live at City Hall with reaction to the rejection of $250 million, Sinjin. Well, we heard from the mayor earlier today, but nothing since, and we have been asking all day for response ever since we heard about that deadline, and afterwards as well. Nothing. Her office is just up there, as you know, Mi Jung, but we have certainly been hearing from, well, her opponents who are calling this, these are their words, political ego, a slap in the face, and that this is holding City Hall hostage, and a slap in the face for taxpayers. Here's what they had to say. To me, it's not good judgment. Uh, we should be putting this in the rearview mirror. We've got a city to build here, and when I see that we're holding back in terms of building capital projects for a city that is soon going to be a million people and bigger than Vancouver, we need to get on with it. And in the mayor's defense, normally we do hear from her. Normally she's very willing to chat and has lots to say. Not tonight. Mi Jung. Okay, thank you, Sinjin.